today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and joining me today is newsbreaker lovemaker, Devin Ra. You got a pretty serious show. We really do. We really do. It's Some been heavy topics. It's been an interesting 24 hours, hasn't it? Um, busy, busy 24 hours. So Diddy's houses got raided at the same time on the East coast and the West coast. We'll give you an update there. This Baltimore bridge disaster. I mean, it, video is just crazy. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Um, so we'll talk about that. Travis and Taylor are in love. Weird segue, but we'll talk about <laughs> how they're in love. PDA field trip down the Bahamas. And in almost news, we'll talk about my, my favorite movie prop of all time got sold yesterday. Interesting. My favorite movie prop of all time. Is it because time. of the movie or just because of the prop? Just everything about it. Iconic, the debate around it. What a teaser. Interesting. Okay. On to our first story. <clears throat> Thanks for clearing your throat. Have to, man. Have to. Diddy, man. He has been going through it for months. There's been all of these allegations Mm -hmm. against him. Very serious in nature about abuse and sex trafficking. Well, now the feds are involved. Um, Homeland Security raided his homes from coast to coast. Looking for something, they must have, you know, speculation that there's evidence in these houses. Apparently he used to videotape some of his crimes. So maybe they're looking for those. Well, yeah, they, I mean, we, we saw video footage and, um, photos of them taking things from the house. Um, everyone's being pretty tight lipped on what exactly is the nature of the investigation, but it is being reported that it could be tied to some of these sex trafficking claims that have been made in these different lawsuits. And so now Homeland Security is getting involved. And I mean, it was an intense scene yesterday. I mean, the the videos of them descending on his house in uh, it's Beverly Hills here in LA. Helicopters, SWAT cars. Like heavily armed. I mean, they pulled up on boats to his Miami Beach uh, Star Island home. Um, And it, it, it was just pretty intense. It really was. There was... Helicopter footage of his sons being handcuffed. Yeah, they were here at the the place in L.A. and so they were putting handcuffs out in front uh, of his house. It didn't. It looked like they were just detained, not arrested. But yeah, I think that's what you do when you raid something. You kind of like detain everyone so they can't get the evidence and flush it down the toilet, sort of thing. You know what I so mean? So you, that's just what you're getting from movies. Yeah, that's that's my <laughs> okay. understanding oh, of okay. the law. <laughs> okay, but we also we got footage of. Diddy in Miami, he was questioned at a Miami airport. Uh, He landed on his private jet and him and his, his party were questioned. We can see him pacing around. Yes. So we were, we were told, um, he was taken out of the private jet, uh, at the Miami airport. Uh, he was there with family. I believe they were going on to, on some trip or something, uh, but we're also told that, I mean, he was detained and pulled off the the plane. We got photos of, you can see agents speaking with him and his family. But as you can see in the video of him walking around, he wasn't arrested. We're told he's able to go wherever he wants. It's kind of unclear uh, where he is right now. But he wasn't arrested yesterday. They spoke with him. We don't know exactly what they said. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, he definitely doesn't look very happy. No. No, not at all. Well, I mean, this, this whole Diddy drama started back when his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, Mm -hmm. made all of these allegations. And then the next day he settled with her, paid her out so that she wouldn't, you know, press charges or try to get some money out of him. Uh, and since then multiple women have come forward, you know, some guys, uh, basically alleging the same thing that did he, I mean, it was one of, it was one of those things that, uh, when Cassie filed the lawsuit, it was insane because this is someone, you know, sometimes you see these lawsuits filed against big celebrities where these people have no relationship with the person. They make all these outland outlandish claims, but Cassie was making them, and it's like she dated him for like 10 years. Mm. And then the fact that he then settled right away, it I mean, you don't want to make assumptions, but it leads you to believe that at least some of the stuff she was saying was true, and he just wanted it to go away. 
Yeah, and then the and floodgates then it opens, open. It opens the floodgates for everyone else who may not have similar stories, but are like, wow, she got paid out. I'm going to get paid out. Well, now, I mean, it's not even just a civil matter. It's well, like, now, now it's, it's criminal. criminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the home, Homeland Security being involved is crazy. Just to see the amount of police at both houses was something to behold. They put a lot of manpower it behind It looked like this. a movie, no? It did. It did. Uh, so God knows how this story will I mean, it's evolve. Gonna, it's going to play out. Obviously, we're going to be covering it. it. It will be very interesting to see what ends up happening with Diddy, if anything. Right. You know? Okay. On to our next story. When we woke up this morning, man, there was crazy video. Crazy, crazy video. Of a cargo ship plowing into a pretty big bridge in Baltimore. And, and it, cr it just crumbles. The Have you ever seen a, a it? I feel like I, I don't know enough about bridges maybe, but aren't they supposed to, I, I realize that that's a massive cargo ship, Yeah. but aren't they supposed to like be able to withstand things like this? Or not no? that, not that. I mean, bridges, I mean, look at that. Bridges are, you know, pretty flimsy thing. If you get a massive cargo ship with all of that cargo, a heavy thing, and it just like takes out one of the legs of the bridges and, and it all goes down. So the, the ship had only just left the port. It appeared like it, it lost power, right? A right. A couple different times you see the lights go out and I'm assuming that that's what happened here. Well, yeah, that's what's being reported. It lost power, it lost propulsion okay. and it uh, just kind of glided into I the leg of the bridge. Uh, there was a pilot on board, they call it a pilot, someone from Baltimore whose job it is to get the bridge, you know, safely out of the port. He gotcha. But um, the, the, the pilot, you know, if, if the ship really lost power. What, what, what can you do at that point? That's like, how can you blame a pilot if you're up in the air and all of a sudden the aircraft starts malfunctioning? What do you do? I, I, I don't know. But I mean, everybody on board the ship, you know, was okay. But at the time on the bridge, they were doing a lot of construction, filling potholes in yeah, the line. Yeah, repairing concrete, so it was actually closed down. Can you imagine? I mean, it does look like it was in the very early... I think one uh, thirty a.m. it was. Yeah, there, you, you wouldn't imagine there'd be too many people going over the bridge. But yeah, it was technically closed down, so there were no cars driving over it. Just So it was just construction workers that were up on the bridge, and you know, obviously, I'm not sure the exact numbers, but they were missing. Like, they were looking for them still. Yeah, there were reports of eight or maybe more more that were on the bridge filling potholes uh and a couple of them have been rescued one of them was, was okay, completely fine which, which is bizarre like yeah. i can't imagine what a miracle that is oh, to totally. plunge into near freezing waters the water's freezing too totally uh and one of them actually had really severe injuries but then the others are unaccounted for right now that's super scary so you know yeah just like a tragedy it's just i i feel like it's one of the like biggest tragedies that we've suffered in this country for a little while right just to see just to see the devastation of like such a i mean i i've never been to baltimore but i'm assuming this is kind of an iconic bridge yes and a bridge that's heavily utilized like this will i mean oh it's gonna be shut down i mean this might shut this port down for months right Right. I don't know if it's as big as a port as like, because I know Long Beach out here uh, or San Pedro, that port's massive. So I don't know what kind of like uh, this effect will have on like our economy or getting things in and out. But I mean, what a mess. Oh, terrible. What a tragedy. Okay. On to our next story. Travis and Taylor sure did pack on the PDA when they were down in the Bahamas. So... They've recently returned from the Bahamas and they've been to like Nobu, Malibu, and they've been out and about here and there. But these pictures are finally surfacing. Finally. Thank God. Thank God we get to see them <laughs> because they were all over each other, all over each other in the water, all over each other on the beach. They looked actually kind of in love. And that's kind of hard for me to say because I've been, and I, I'm a bit of a naysayer. I'm, oh, I'm cynical. You're, you're still on this, that it, this isn't a real relationship. Well, I, I think like, I just dig into my argument. Like I, I'll like, never, that was your stance and you're just going to like, never let it go. I think Even so. when in your own mind, you're like, yeah, I was completely wrong. You're still, no, I can fool myself too. Oh, okay, cool. So I've, so I've it really doesn't take in. much to fool you. No, 
but it was great to see them all like, you know, kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy. That's your takeaway, which a good takeaway. But thank you. But I feel like, do we ever really see Taylor Swift in a bikini like this? Not really. No. Like I can't remember ever. And what's your review? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Really? I thought she looked great. Yeah. She looked really good. What about Travis review? Oh, I, I thought he looked good. Harry. A little hairier, <laughs> yeah. a little hairier than I thought he was. He was a little. It was a bit more like Jason than Travis. Yeah, wasn't it? I mean, like, those Kelsey brothers are hairy dudes. I know, but uh, it did look. I mean, I, you. We, the other takeaway from this, uh, these photos was that it. They everyone was comparing yesterday in the office that they looked exactly like the photos that she was in with Joe. Remember? Well, well, she took Joe to the same resort, and there are similar photos of her in the water with Joe, just like there are with Travis. It's just funny to have that side-by-side -side at the same place. Like, is there nowhere else in the world, or even the Bahamas, you can go? I mean, I get what you're saying, but I, I just feel like when you go, you find a place you really like going on vacation, and it's like, oh, this is the best trip ever. Why would you go anywhere else? I'm of, going back. No, banging memories. It's just memories of banging. They always flood back. And you <laughs> Do <don't>, they? <laughs> if you went to the same place, you've been banging someone with your current. You, I mean, yes, it'll drum up some memories. <laughs> yeah, I get, I, it depends on who, who the ex was. I guess that's true. <laughs> okay, here's me putting my cynical hat on. All right. Why are these photos only coming out now? Be okay, do you have an answer or do you want me to give my answer? L let me continue with my theory okay, and then uh, you can tell me I'm wrong. Okay. When I shoot a money clip, like I did yesterday. I was going to say, that's rare. <laughs> <laughs> I shot Jared Leto yesterday. Oh, oh, did you? Money. Wow. Thank you. Is that in Almost News? <laughs> no, I didn't even make it wow. to Almost News. I guess it wasn't that money of a shot. But when I shoot it, I rush to my computer. I send it in. We'll see what happens with the clip if they'll sort of like put it online or they won't. I haven't put it online yet. but <laughs> Crossing our fingers. <laughs> yeah. But if, if I was this camera guy. And I got these amazing shots of Travis and Taylor making out. Every I would run to my computer, upload the photos, send them in, try to get them up straight away. So why are these photos coming out four, five days later? They, I smell a setup. His Wi-Fi was down. His Wi-Fi <laughs> was down. <laughs> they, I he just got his internet going. I smell a setup. I, so these are you, setup shots. They I, didn't want it to be revealed where they were or what they were doing so that they gave them the green light when they were safely back in L.A. That's the, my that, only answer. Uh, yeah, it would make sense because I, I was a little confused too because these photos came out the same time as the photos of them at Nobu. After the photos of them at Nobu yes. in Malibu. So, but uh, you, you think the setup was like they were like, hey, you can take these photos of us frolicking in the water and get a lot of money, but as you have to promise us you're not going to sell them until we're long gone. Yes, and also we'll choose the photos that you sell. Okay? Oh, I guess that's why. Because I was like, why would they ever agree to that? But I guess if they want to control the photos. A lot of celebrities do up. that. A but lot of celebrities it, do I that. always think that that's weird, though. Like, celebrities, why would they care? Big celebrities have personal paparazzi that follow... Like, like they, that, that's my favorite paparazzi. They're always good to me. They can follow me around the world. I know of these personal paparazzi. And, and they no follow... one's asked you yet? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> okay. On to almost news. The door from that scene in the Titanic movie just sold at auction. That's crazy. And I think, you this know. This is a pretty, like, I know we always talk about, like, oh, it really is this that cool of an item from a movie? I mean, this is iconic. I think this might be the item from any movie I would want. You know, Inter Titanic. What, one time I watched Titanic three times in a day. Like, I'm a fan. It's a three-hour movie, too. Don't ever say that loud. <laughs> <laughs> the door sold for $718,000 and, and $750. I, I actually, I mean, that's a ton of money for a freaking door, but I actually thought it maybe would go for more. I thought it would go for over a mil. Yeah. Uh... So, unknown who the buyer is, but because this door is iconic in the movie, obviously, but then also there's been this raging debate, could Jack have survived if Rose was less selfish and yeah, let him on? Let him, let him, like, take turns. It's a big debate. Even James Cameron weighed into it and did some scientific experiment but, to see. But my question for you is, okay, yes, it is a very iconic thing. Well, what do you do with this? You float this in your pool at home or what? You frame it, bro, and then invite the girls around to impress them. I don't know. You just put it in your house somewhere. You you wouldn't use it though, right? Like use no. it as your front no. door. What do you do with any collector item? You just kind of like clout chase off it. Yeah, it's it's a very nice like conversation starter when you have people over. <laughs> yes, it's expensive, but like 
Damn, that's I cool. wonder what that I wonder what that door's been doing. I, I didn't uh because this storage was, got to be storage. This was almost news, so I didn't read the article, but <laughs> but uh yeah, I wonder like what the person did like they they probably were like, "Oh, this is going to be a big deal." Or do you think they like just put it in storage and then saw it years later and are like, "Wow." I I don't know. Maybe another collector wanted to get rid of it for some reason. Um Harrison's for Harrison Ford's whip from Indiana Jones Got 525,000, not bad. Now I, that's something you could use if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean if, I, if you know what I mean? Who are you whipping? <laughs> I'm just saying. In the bedroom? If you're into something like oh that. Oh my God. Um, the one I thought that was actually like really low was Jack Nicholson's axe from The Shining. Only 125K, huh? 125,000 for his axe from The Shining? It, that has to be like a plastic axe, right? Or is it? I that, don't know. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. But I mean, what a bargain. That, that sounds like a bargain to me. Is there any movie prop out there, you know, you'd have your I, eye on? I, I can't think of one off the top of my head, honestly. Maybe like a famous sort of Sydney Sweeney's bikini from that sort of thing. Okay, <laughs> I'm not a pervert. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, it, it was just interesting. I'm not a big, like, a memorabilia guy. No? No, like, I, I just, I, I think it's cool, but, like, if I had that, I guess if I would have to have that type of, like, expendable income. Yeah, you because don't collect right, things, you just collect not, memories. Not really, I collect memories, photographs. <laughs> photographs. Yeah. Oh, that's cute, man. That's cute. Yep. Well, thank you for joining me yeah, here was, on the podcast. It was today. a blast. It was really a blast. Thank you very much, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Yep.